we've also been working on full holographic AR glasses for, for almost 10 years, almost 10 years. And that is still the full vision that we're working towards. And I have something that I want to show you today. Yeah, thanks for keeping them secure. Just hold that. Just hold okay. Hold it. Okay. Watch your head. Can you close that for me? Thank you. Yeah. All right, here we go. There you go. This, this is Orion, our first fully functioning prototype. And if I do say so, the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. Now, about a decade ago, I, uh, you know, I started putting together a team of the best people in the world to, uh, to build these glasses. And the, the requirements are actually pretty simple. But the technical challenges to make them are insane. Um, you know, they, they need to be glasses, you know, not a headset, no wires, less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays, sharp enough to pick up details, <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions, large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're, you're in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. And you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. So if someone messages you, uh, you will see that, and instead of having to pull out your phone, there will just be a little hologram and with a few subtle gestures, you can reply without getting pulled away from the moment. Or if you want to be with someone who is far away, um, they're going to be able to teleport as a hologram into your living room as if they're right there with you. You're going to be able to tap your fingers and bring up a game of cards or chess or holographic ping pong or whatever it is that you want to do together. You can work or play or whatever. Building this display is different from every other screen that you have ever used. And that is because it is not actually a screen. Um, it is a completely new kind of display architecture with these tiny projectors and the arms of the glasses that shoot light into waveguides that have you know, nanoscale 3D structures etched into the lenses so they can diffract light and put holograms at different uh, depths and sizes into the world in front of you. And all of that is directed by custom silicon and sensors that we designed and powered by a battery that fits in the arm of the glasses. It is a absolutely incredible amount of technology to be able to miniaturize and fit into a pair of glasses and a small puck that goes with it to help power the whole thing. All right, so how are you going to interact with the glasses? Well, there's a few ways that this is going to work. They're going to do voice and AI. They're going to do hand tracking and eye tracking so you can select UI elements by looking at them. But there's one more way that you're going to be able to interact with them that is really pretty neat, a neural interface. See, voice is great, but the thing is sometimes you're in public and you don't want to say what you're trying to do with your computer out loud. Hand tracking is neat for controlling different interfaces, but you don't want to like walk down the street like this, right? So I think that you need a device that allows you to you know, just send a signal from your brain to the device. So this isn't just the first full screen, like uh, you know, full wide field of view holographic AR glasses. 
This is also the first device that is powered by our wrist-based neural interface. So when people have gotten to try out these glasses, we've shown them to a, a handful of people at this point, it's like, it's like an emotional experience. I mean, like people are kind of giddy, they don't want to take them off. A lot of people have said that this is the craziest technology they've ever seen. Um, you know, it was enough that I wanted to add to this keynote a montage of some of the fun reactions that, that, that people have, have had since it's pretty wild. So you want to cut to that for a second? My God. Ah. Wow. Whoa. Well, that is insane. The weight of this is just such a game changer. It's comfortable. Yep. A hundred this grams is a is deal. A, this is a big deal. Yeah. Wow, it's super sleek already. This side and your cable. Yeah. I mean, that's freedom. Really? Not? Yeah. Oh, your Kodak avatars. He is uh, 3D. Yeah. That's nuts. Can you wink at me? No way. The multitasker in me is loving this. This is pretty crazy that I can do four things at once. The head tracking is good. The brightness is good. The color contrast is good. Field of view is excellent. I see it oh. super clear. <laughs> it's crazy responsive. Learning with these will be amazing. Like pia yeah. piano would be yeah. insane. Amazing. Like this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> this is like breaking the four minute mile. It's so fast. Tracking is extremely good. Such good sound design too. Wow, and, and she's so clear. When this became the television, that became the radio. Yeah. When this, that's what's coming next. Yeah. This is the coolest thing. So cool. That's cool. This game is so fun. I am not going to lose this game. <laughs> I'm playing with a 3D avatar. I see you're very focused now. Yeah, very focused. You really do kind of feel like like a superhero, like a new new sense, new dimension. Wow. wow. This this can be just a whole new world. All right, so with Orion, we are getting closer to achieving the dream of Reality Labs. To create the next major computing platform that delivers a deep sense of presence like you were right there with another person. This is where we are going. All right, so where are we today? So, you know, with, with Orion, we achieved most of the goals that we set out in this program. Um, you know, if I'm being honest, we probably achieved a lot more of the goals than the team thought we were going to when we started this. Uh, but we do still have a few things that I want us to keep pushing on before we ship this as a consumer product. Uh, we're gonna keep tuning the display system to make it sharper, I want to keep working on the design to make it smaller and a bit more fashionable. Um, and we're going to keep making, we need to keep working on the, the uh, manufacturing to make it a lot more affordable too. But we have line of sight to all of those things. So we are going to use Orion as a dev kit. Um, we are going to use it mostly internally to build out the software that we, that we need to, but we're also going to work with a handful of partners externally to make sure that we get a diversity of content and, and um, you know, just that we can really dial in the software and the experience, so that way, when we have the next version of this hardware, it is going to be ready to be our first consumer full holographic AR glasses. But for now, you know, I think the right way to look at Orion is as a time machine. Uh, these glasses exist, they are awesome, and they are a glimpse of a future that I think is gonna be pretty exciting.